Hello, everybody! It's your wonderful wind maid, your cruise ship servant, Chartreuse Proxy, ever and always at your service. Hi, everybody! It's been a little bit since I've been live on the internet here. Of course, I had VCAT during the weekend, but being in a 3D environment is completely different from uh, being in a 2D environment. And quite frankly, as much as I do love standing up and, you know, being active, that does tire me out after, you know, the second or third hour or so. But I've had my good enough fun on the weekend, and I feel like I should be getting back to my usual cycle of games. So first and foremost, we, last time that we played Dicey Dungeons was like two or three weeks ago, quite frankly, everybody. So I want to see if I can finish it up, since I finished the main campaign already, basically. The Halloween special here only has three episodes, of which I've already done one, the Warrior, last time around, after a few tries. And then we would have Reunion, which would be the second and final free DLC, which has six episodes each. It's like one episode for each character. And so, I'm really looking forward to it, but let's see if I can just finish it or not today. But first and foremost, hello Austin, hope you're doing well enough, Chief. Yeah, let's chill, have a good time, and see what we got for us here, yeah? Welcome once again to the Dicey Dungeons Halloween special where the spider webs are real and the pumpkins bite. And remember, I did warrior last time, so I'll play an inventor. How does inventor work here? Seems to be normal inventor to start. Except that a lot of the stuff is going to hurt me and the opponent too, potentially. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, this will be... Oh, that's interesting. No you. So if I swap next target, that's just five damage to the enemy. Interesting. Yeah, I shot myself with that then. That's not too bad. Doing good, just tired. There you go. I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit too, Austin, so I'm just glad to see you around. But then again, I feel like that's more on me for just not streaming as much. So what more can I really say at that point then, right? Right, no you, swap the target, do 5 damage. That was pretty efficient, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to make a new gadget, right? Yeah, just it's just Inventor. So in that case then, uh... I, f I feel like I have to get rid of Infinity Mirror. And I have to convert Infinity Mirror, because I'm not going to get... ...useful stuff now. More often than not, so I'm gonna have to brick on a few gadgets, it seems here. But yeah, overall, overall, I'm just looking to chill, have a good time. I'm glad that I'm going to be able to, you know... That's how I always said, yeah, nothing happens. I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to get back to a better groove of streaming, hopefully, overall, when it comes to, because my days should be more on the morning end when it comes to... For dealing with, uh, for dealing with uh, the space, job stuff and everything. I've got more morning shifts, or my all day stuff is later on in the week. So when I'm working at it logistically, I should be able to get a lot more on the streaming side then, right? Right. But we'll just see how it goes overall. I'm not gonna sweat it too much if I can't make content, because at the very least, I've had good news and bad news go throughout the pipeline for um, more future plans. I, so for example, I talked a lot about wanting to go out on vacation. Interesting. Uh, if I, if I was able to get the chance with, uh, September or so. Fortunately, just due to, you know, uh, just due to some circumstances and everything in between or so, it is not going to happen, unfortunately. Just, just, uh, Really outside, like it's just job, both timing wise, job, uh, job stuff, and also the uh, just how close it was to my current state of affairs. Oh, I guess that's me saying the same thing over and over again, right there. I'm trying to be eloquent about it, but basically, in a nutshell, it's not going to happen. Like, my vacation request wasn't going to happen, unfortunately, due to the fact that it was so close and my own company policy. I say my own, as if it's my company. Just due to company policy, you know, not really allowing anything close by on that end. Wow, I'm 
I don't want to use sits because that's nothing useful. If I can just roll, but I, the fact that I haven't gotten a sits yet is criminal. There we go. Gosh darn, dude. That took a while because my damage profile sucks. So much. Uh, I'll get rid of you. Level up in two. I need to get pieces of gear first and foremost. But... Conti uh, continuing on with everything, yeah. Unfortunately, my September plans are not going to come around for what would what would have been a out of the country vacation was the plan. But that's you know that's the long and short of it. Can't say too much more about that. Okay, that's a better damage performance. I actually rolled sixes. So at the end of the day, errors of not use first. Interesting, and I can just have that. Be my last. Uh, that could really just kill somebody. I need two sitzes. But I could just have that alternate between my other thing. But there's also just easy damage from Jeff's gears that I'd like to retain then. I think I'll just take Jeff's gears. Curse yourself. Or curse the enemy. Quick weekend. So what is my deck looking like? I have almost everything here. I have ways to use all my gear, which is absolutely wonderful. Both fighters lose a die next turn. There's Boomerang. Deal damage to the enemy, but times two to yourself. Could be really good if I need to get limit break. Interesting. Randomized gadget. Randomized enemy. What the heck? What the heck? These Halloween modifiers are weird. Very, very weird, but... Fine enough, fine enough. No sits. I'll just weaken this man. I can just deal 5 damage that way. Okay, good. Good, good, good. But yeah, so... Going on to that, yeah, I'm not gonna get my vacation plans, unfortunately, from how it seems. But on the other end of everything when it comes to it, gosh start it. Because uh, because of that, that means that I will be Okay, that's another pair of sitzes from him. Can I get sitzes myself? No! No darn sitzes, people! This is annoying as crap. But at least I have at least I have the two pumpkins. Yeah, I should have fought the marshmallow one first considering how much damage he's done to me. This is so annoying. I mean, I just gotta deal with the damage straight up. I can't do too much there. Okay, first and foremost. Shot the enemy for three. Deal up everything. If I would've made something better. Minimum of five for my limits charge. So just five damage at all times. Uh, ten damage at all times basically is what it feels like. I think that is way better. That way it's a one in three chance at all times. Combine dice. I'll buy the randomizer just because it's cool looking. I could buy Boomerang, like unironically, to have... I want to have options open for how to utilize my three dice. All right, two fights before I level up. I might have screwed myself by not by uh, by uh, using all my cash for equipment, but we'll see how it goes. Ethan, I could have actually one turned her if I used my limit break, but. I just pushed instead, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't back to that. Uh, because my vacation plans aren't going to work out. Uh, my online side of things that I've been harping on for my past live streams is I'm trying to build up a big enough backlog so that I can have a month, a entire month of, you know, content for everybody to be able to watch without any real big problem or anything like that or so. You know. So because of that, now that's kind of all out of the way. Interesting. Interesting. I really like how a lot of these are double-edged swords quite ordinary so. I regenerate for the future though. I 
only three people on this floor? Really? Oh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I need to kill this Yeti in two thirds before I get on with my story, though. And definitely can two turn him potentially, but it just comes down to how much damage he deals. You got two odds that aren't the worst, but that is gonna freeze two of my high ends. Oh, because it has to be my last die still. I shoot. Well, I might be dead. I am not yet dead. I didn't know that th that it just has no effect at all if it's just not your final die. Okay, okay, that's good to learn. I thought it was just always, it just only deals extra damage. Uh, it will just deal the extra damage anyway. I it won't deal the extra damage if it's not your final die, but no, it has to be the final die at all to use that. Alright, good to know for the future. But, t to sum it up, uh, I was planning to have a whole month of backlog for my content, and that's not really necessary now. But, might as well just keep playing games, because it's not like it's a big burn for me. And at the very end of the day, still, even if I don't, uh, even then, you know, like, for days like these to where I've just been a little bit lazier and been wanting to relax a little bit more on the side of... Uh, when I want to relax a little bit more on the side of... What's his face? What am I trying to say here? On the side of content creation, I can easily take that break and, you know, guilt not feel like I'm... I'm doing bad for my YouTube end. Because already, for instance, most of my content is coming out to be just about, like, a week or, like, a week and a half out. If I check my upload schedule on my Google Docs real quick, actually, I will see I am currently sitting at, until August 6th, actually. So, yeah, I've got a week of backlog, primarily for my main, for my main games. When it comes to it. Also, I just realized this is going to be a very tough fight to only have one damage source. So, uh, not the best for my own end. But it's alright, because he didn't just deal damage there. But, uh, get, uh, get into that, get into that. Wow. Triple sits this dude. Well, at least you are basically guaranteed next turn. It's not like I won't go a 4 or lower. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness I said that. Uh... Oh, get rid of that broken gadget because it's gonna be useless, of course. Scythe! Combine dice. Already. Fight me the squid then. But, yeah, I can just chill out. Not necessarily have a problem when it comes to. Or. No, well, when it comes to saying, hey, I can or can't take this day off without feeling guilty about it. It's just gonna be chill. For my entire content creation spectrum from now on, it feels like. And I'm not going to complain at all. It's it's good to be able to have both that back on, but I say to fall back on and say, yeah, I don't have to do anything on the on the online side of things. I can just chat with friends. Or what I'm trying to do, for example, of do some art once again on the side as always. But that's more once again side project. And quite frankly, the things that I'm currently working on are secret side projects that I don't necessarily want to give away. They're gonna be gifts to friends, is my point. I'm, I'm back in my art grind after my Rabbit and Steel mod, of course. But we'll just, once again, we'll just see how much I want to be able to do and everything like that or so. As when it comes to it, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the offline side, be it with my in a- wow, that's three sixes in a row. With my anniversary side of things that had just happened. Uh, I should I should find ways. Actually, no. If I curse myself at the end, it goes away. Because it's just a sad spot. It doesn't linger. So we're fine on that end. We're fine. Okay. We're good. Watch is not going to tank our health again like, like this time around. Hey, 
Protoss. There you go. But yeah, just I want I want to be able to chill, not have any problems. Yeah, let's try Chef's Kiss again, just because I didn't I didn't get a good chance with it last time. Uh, see what I can buy here first, though. Deal 8 damage, but I need a million ones for that. I don't like pressure cooker, that way I can always guarantee that Chef's Kiss will go off. Let's, or, oh, I bought the wrong one. I bought the million ones. Oops. Oh, well, let's see what the upgrade would be for that then. Oh, damage for a bunch of ones. Uh, Chef's Chase would become a four at that rate. Well, let's, let's just save our money for now. Let's see when I can buy after the Dryad bat a fight, what I'll get out of it. I can do something like... Yeah, I can just do a 2 and then 8, because that would just be my final die, since the battle against guarantees. I can put my sits into that last slot, and then my other number into the uh, into the scythe. That doesn't curse me. I can just roll a 50-50 like that and hope for the best. I did not get anything but the best there, so that's unfortunate, but it's fine. And the one time I don't want to roll high. Unfortunate. But I can't take too much more than that. Combine me over. One, two. Simple enough. In point total, War Warhammer 3. There you go. Glad to hear that you're doing well, too, Chief. Let me. Let me have that regenerate for now. Lock all self inflicted damage on this turn. That's a very, very interesting piece of equipment. I am not going to lie. For now, though, that makes it 10. That's great to just lob stuff into. I think that's really, really good. Let's take safety goggles out. Let's have pressure cooker in, because then I want to get rid of electric whip is my immediate thought process here. Roll four extra ones. That could be really good for pressure cooker later. And we'll chill with that. Without a doubt, I'm upgrading Chef's Kiss. I have, yeah, two of my loaded slots are non-negotiable. I can't burn those at any time from now on, basically, here. Hit. Put a dice in. Eight damage. That's great to see. Not the worst since I have regen. It dice in. 10 damage more. Or rather, I could have just. I wasn't thinking straight. I could have just put that in. Well, at the very least, he only dealt 3 damage, so I come out completely even. No mind at all. Pressure crit this man. Yeah, that's right. The fact that I'll just always get to get Chef's Kiss off is what matters here. Curse the enemy. Totally fine by me. Mm. Not like I'm ever rolling the ones for that necessarily. Do two damage for each dice the enemy rolls. Interesting. Stub the toe for 999 damage. I could just buy that for a boss killer at the very end. And honestly, I think I kind of want to do that very much so. Here, let's fight our demon. Curse this man. If I do something like... One... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I had a 25% chance for it not to hit Chef's Kiss, and it did. 
I hate everything, dude. Oh, but you're not cursed, you absolute idiot! Take that, you cretin, you fool! Gosh! Take the eight damage. Take the eight damage on the chin right then and there, dude. Yeah! Screw you! Screw you! You're losing your curse rolls too, loser! Idiot! Stupid! That's what you get! Alright, what? Well, he's dead with the sits this time around. That is huge rolls for him, but the fact that it's a maximum sits means that he can't do shit. That is absolutely... It's fine. The stole equals eight. It's still good. It's still fine. It's still good. Uh, might as well combine all dice, I suppose. So it gets me an extra. We put the broken glass in here then, and then we're chilling. So I'm really not too high up on electric whip still. y'all in here we go finally i don't lose a 25 percent chance dude i don't want to combine my dice here technically here just because uh what's his face just because of me wanting to actually make use out of my pressure trigger makes me wonder yes that gets rid of burning Ooh, you love to see it baby you absolutely love to see it amazing Amazing! The fact that once again I didn't lose my 25% chance, I'm fine by that, dude. And then... Honestly, yeah, get rid of Orchard Whip because I don't want to rely on it. Swap the next target. Interesting. Deal 8 damage, lose 2 each battle. Interesting. But I think the big ticket still is going to be Stub Toe. As always. Guys, if I can just have that held for the future, that's going to be amazing. I think I have to put Hole Puncher in, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be the extra ones all, all together, but what more can I really do? I want to save it for the boss at the very end, though, or if there's an enemy I do not want to deal with. Because that's all dice become sits. And you're just a regular handyman. So, honestly... Yeah, I already do not mind you too much. Guys, yeah, I'll get to two turn you, but... I don't mind him that much. And then he rolls three sitzes. And then I roll three sitzes. What is this, dude? Absolutely, what is this? Malarkey. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, I guess I'll reduce by two for nine. That's fine. Copy random dice. Do I have twice the difference? Do one damage. That is so sad to see. I am not going to lie. Well, just stick me to the rotten apple. I'll be fine with how this fight goes anyway. Reduce my damage. Put all of these boys in the pressure cooker, and then I get my guaranteed chef's kiss off. You'll love to see it. It's so funny that I don't want to use focus at all, quite frankly, just due to how the game mechanic and uh, just due to how these mechanics work here, you know? Yeah, one damage, big whoop, whatever. You're still dead next turn, and yeah, even if you do hit me for 16 health, the Kraken should be able to almost just my speed run. Guys, not that you can really kill me. And you're not unless you get three sitzes in a row, you're not getting rotten core, so that's all I care about. One, two, ten damage. Residually, residually, residually. If I can get rid of the worm bite, that'd be great. Yes, please. You'll love to see it. I'm gonna have up against the Kraken no matter what. So then. We'll get these Quippers in here, and we'll chill. So, deal damage is twice the difference. That'd be six damage, for instance, here. Yeah, 
Six damage is totally fine, considering how I'm still getting to work down his stuff. Hello, Crimson. Hope you're well. Ooh, your orange. Is it? Is there an option to randomize how your thing, how your towers look? If there is, well, I did not necessarily know that then, Chief. But how you doing? How you doing? I, know, I, I was talking a lot about my YouTube stuff earlier, and then I just really started focusing up on the game now. <laughs> Alright. Fascist man. And then you're dead no matter what, so totally fine. Very good fight. Copy random dice I still think there is. I guess there is? Well, I guess so in that case, huh? Uh, if I want to upgrade something... I could copy something. If I upgrade something, what would I even want to upgrade at this point here? I really stand a high priority for what I want. I guess I could probably get Infinity Mirror for that end then. Or I could just copy something else, but then what would I copy? I guess I could copy a pressure cooker? Or I could copy Stub Toe, that way I get two guaranteed. Like outs basically. I think that's totally fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's and then we'll just see what our next four is. Go and find next weekend, but while it's calm down. Yeah, that's basically how I've mostly been feeling when it comes to here. I need to just I need to have one of those stub toes just for this uh, for the final fight. So I can just use one of these in my backpack as a get eye jail free card for any of these fights here. I'll play it by ear, I'll play it by ear. Yeah, I was talking about how, like, earlier on in stream, my vacation request got denied. Understandable, it's just company policy. DLDR is what I'm just trying to say here. So... Through all of that... Hold on, one, two... Do eight damage, so I'd so here. And then whack for ten. That's totally fine by me. And so, the plan to have a month of backlog for YouTube content, now it really doesn't matter as much, but I'm still, you know, making use out of it one way or another, you know? Alright. One, two. Curse went off. Totally fine. Because I'm still putting dice into pressure cooker, and it's not... Okay, you can curse me again if you wanted, but then you're not doing any damage. But I'm not taking too much here. Is fine by me. Yeah, even then, I'm totally fine. So I can just literally have my combination of ones all together, just whack you. Can y'all do unlucky? Unironically, because then opens up these pieces of equipment for the future. But also, let's me see what else we got. No damage, a lot player dice that roll that. Interesting. Regen or embers for burning dice. Ran unsits randomize the gadget that I have. I don't necessarily like that. I think I'll just chill on this end. But I will have... No, but since I get a choice between who I don't want to deal with next fight... Yeah, I'm putting that stub toe in. Yeah, I don't want to be haunted as much here, so let's put everything into the pressure cooker. What I will do though is swap the next target, deal 10 damage to them, exactly so, 8 damage with that, and we are off to the races here. Very, very happy. Okay, Haunted's not going to be worse. Haunted, uh, Inventor's Crafts equipment to use its ability, yeah. Confused makes it so that I can't tell what my equipment is, but it legitimately does not matter. And yeah, you'll reroll my dice over, but that still doesn't matter. Only question mark on what I have here is what's my... Because I know that is going to deal 8 damage overall, so let's go ahead and use that. One of these will swap otherwise. Ah, you're dead. Okay, totally fine, totally fine. Hey, we're chilling. Hmm. 
I think if I guaranteed swap then it's target 480 flip. I can have stub toe just oh wait, no, I should I uh, yeah, to go off, guaranteed no matter what on a fight, and then we'd just chill out. For now though. Mm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to have Stubtoe go off one way or another. So just take the health. We will... Who do I don't want to deal with the most? Probably the Warlock. I just feel like I hate Warlock more, whereas Skeleton's just DPS that he deals, does to you. So I'll fight him and then use Stubtoe on the Warlock. Because what I will do is something like... Hmm. Actually, let's do something like this. Let's... One... Two... Three... That's already almost half of your health. Okay, you got two stitches, which is really unfortunate, but it's fine. Calculated risk, calculated risk, and everything like that. Hit. No, you, this man, for sits. I'm just might as well push for a little bit more damage, but the fact is, I'm just going to buy the health afterwards. And also, I can just absolutely destroy the poor, poor warlock afterwards with an insta kill. So I think we're fine. Guys, take nine. Oh, wait a second. It's take damage, not deal damage to the enemy. And since I have no way of reversing it. Oh, I misread that completely, guys. I have misread the entire prompt completely. Okay, uh... It doesn't tell me if it does anything different upgraded, so that is so unfortunate. Yeah, uh, I, I, I might have bricked myself. Oops. Yeah, oops. Uh, that is that is what we call a straight up problem. Uh, yeah. Because if I if I press the button then and then I realize, oh, I killed myself with it. That's take, not deal damage, not do damage. So uh, I can't flip it because I've misread it this entire time. Oh, I am so stupid. I am so stupid. Okay, it's fine. One, two. For my own sake and safety, randomize my gadget. And then deal 10 damage to him. Because I don't trust myself to not hit the gadget button and then die. Okay, two poison. Don't care. Uh, so one, two, three. Deal 10 damage. Totally fine by me. There's a confusion. Doesn't hurt since I'm just doing countdowns at all times, basically. A lot two of my dice, that is so unfortunate. But I can just quick focus and say screw you. We're fine. Thank goodness. I think Bulls, I don't want to randomize the boss if I don't trust myself on it here. And well, there's nothing more to buy. So this is what I'm this is what I'm waiting in with here. This is what I'm waiting in with. These two are completely useless pieces of gear, but I've had my kill combo at all times, so it's fine. And honestly, I am totally fine as well with having the wooden state. Because that's still a countdown that I'm just going to I, that I can play with with focus anyway. So Drake, you are totally fine to go against as a boss. All right, all right, we're, we are fine, we are chill. Plus, 
The fact that I can always rock one of his dice is oh, wonderful, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Put all my small numbers in the pressure cooker always. Otherwise... Let's start taking down everything, and then we'll just work our way from there. I want the two. He's only draining one, but that poison and blind is going to be so annoying in just a little bit. Hmm. Put the small ones in, please. And then just keep ticking this man down, because honestly, the lock is pretty darn good. Since that's always just going to be moving his his damage line down, no matter what. Now this is where it starts to get dicey. Pun intended or not. The fact is, I, like, you can see, I have a very healthy damage profile here. I'm not sweating. And the fact that he's also not rolling fours well enough. Whether it be because of the lots helping out a bit here, or not. It, this is still pretty darn good, dude. This is pretty darn good. I put that into the wrong slot, but you know what? It's whatever. Is now, whatever he regens, I'll just, you know, take away, and then everything else just goes into focus. Yeah, I don't care if you've blinded everything, because guess what? Uh, 8 damage, and then you are dead next turn. Actually, you no, know, you're dead now. Great! Okay, salvage this run without killing myself due to my stub toe. Thank God, dude. Thank God I didn't brick my own run. Oh, jeez. All right. Nice. Inventor Halloween's over. You get the mummy. And then we just have Witch. Oh, no. All right, y'all. Uh, first and foremost, change my hair color, as always, for witch hours. I don't know what witch is, but the fact that she's the hardest difficulty out of everybody oh, here does not no. fill me with happiness and glee. Okay. Bump, Magic Spear, Spanner. In this episode, your spells, spell slots, and dice change before each fight. The goal is to defeat each enemy in one turn. If you fail... They recover the full health and your spells will reset. Oh no, it's puzzle dungeons. Oh jeez. Okay, so Frog does 10 health. Magic Spear deals 10 damage. I have to finagle a way to get to both get Magic Spear created and deal sits. So baseline. What I'm thinking here, if I combine, this is seven, so I'll make a six and a one. One of the one goes to a bump, two into magic spear, but then I have no dice left over. Ready in five HP. Deal one damage to heal completely. Okay. Oh no, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be stuck here for a little bit. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. I have a two. I think that has to go into Magic Spear no matter what. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Okay, we're fine. Uh, Spanner combines dice. I don't care about that. Let's go with the original hypothesis. Wait, no, we're fine. Okay. Okay, we're fine. No, I, I, I did have that fine. That fight was totally good. I did have the calculus. I was just kind of like, no, I'm one die short. No, the two gets spent to make magic sphere anyway. And I don't get levels, so it's just gonna be. I gotta figure out the puzzle in each one for six fights, dude. Oh no, it's gonna get worse. Tetraphobia, deal four damage. Return the difference of two dice for vice grip. Do damage, reduce cooldowns by whatever. So I gotta spend, so here's my thoughts. I have to spend these potentially, but I get, I get the difference return between two dice. Return two of the difference between two dice. 
So what I see here is to one turn Baby Squid, I need to Wrecking Ball for 4 damage and create 3 Tetraphobias. So how the f <laughs> am I going to do that? Okay, think this out. Return 2 of the difference. So I just need like up 5 and 4 spent out of that. If I Vice Grip, 5 and 4, that's Tetraphobias. But then that's not it. So instead I gotta, I gotta do Vice Grip on 6 and 5. That makes two ones, so that'll be one, two, three, Tetraphobia. Wrecking Ball makes the last slot, and then the four goes into Wrecking Ball. Okay. I've figured it out, I believe. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! And <laughs> seeing it is so intimidating to begin with, dude, but... Oh no, if I fail any of these, I feel like I'm going to just start cringing and hating. Okay. Upgraded slots. Oh no, dude. I don't want to think this much. Oh no. No! This is good. Dude, I spent so much in Witch episodes and I don't want to think about Witch anymore. Okay, Fury Spell. These are all upgraded, so that is fine. I need to deal 22 damage. So Fury Spell, it needs two dice for Fury Spell. So Vice Grip has to be spent first. Uh, no, I don't need to run away. Vice Grip has to be spent first to create something out of it. I get three of the difference between dice, so I think it's going to be the same calculus of... I have to do something like... These here. That can make three blizzards, but I don't need three blizzards. I don't need three blizzards. I need to just deal... 22 damage. Why is it 22 specifically? Think about this, crazy think about this. I get the difference of three dice. Fury Spell, if it repeats its action, it might repeat itself. I don't know that off the top of my head, but I'm guessing that's what's, uh, what it's gotta be. Fact is, I believe it then means I just have to have two dice left over for Blizzard. So if I Vice Grip, that's one. I can do something like four and two. To do six, four, and two in any order there. I want to preserve the six for the Blizzard. Because that'll get... Because... Th the three of the difference between dice is... Three twos. I can just unload the twos in since it's just evens I need for the fury spell. And then sits in one. Seven... Uh, that'll be seven... Twenty-one... No, I have sits in five left over. So I could still walk away with that potentially, right? I don't... I just don't know if it doubles the fury spell. And I have the one left over which doesn't make... Actually, no. I have to spend it on the voice earth. Okay, we're fine. We are fine. So put these in. Have the vice grip go in to repeat the action. And that actually worked out a little bit better. Because this is 11, so it's 11 times 222. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm glad, I'm glad I thought that out. My process did not make sense. But... It still, uh, but it still was effective. What the f... Okay. 19 damage. This seems easy on paper. On paper. Batstab needs a 3 at the end here. So I need to keep tactically bump waiting up to the point where I then have to, to Batstab. Oh, okay, I might have to waste a help or two to try things out here. Let's think about this. This is a maximum of five. So if I wanted to, that's one damage out of this. Two, three. Bumboy gets spent anyway on one end. So that's three damage I'm representing. Four, five, six damage at the moment. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen damage by itself. 
add one on each item use is the thing though. I think what it's asking me to do is do something like one, two. I'm just gonna trial by fire this because I need to test this out. I need the three out of this. Adds one damage to me. So it says item. I should have said equipment use. Because that was the terminology that was messing me up right there. I could have had seven if I made that into a bat stab instead. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I I understand the calculus. I just might need to uh, redo that again because I don't know if I learned my lesson. But yeah, I want to push for damage for bat stabs as much as possible here. So, without a doubt, and like, it'll it'll passively tick up without me trying because if I spend the five, it should it should have already turned over at that point, then, right? I'm just thinking I'll out to myself here. Four, five, six. No, I need to bump these two guys up, but then have I spent too much? Yes, I have. Yeah, it'll, it'll keep going up on its own. Okay, okay, I once again, I, I understand what needs to be done here. I just need to get the right order. I'll, I'll take the two damage, but that's because I had to order the mechanic of how bat stab was going to work. Now, let's go back into math mode. Let's go back into math mode here. This will just re replace one bump blade. If... I think I used my one before. I did one, two... damage. If I use the five here... So first and foremost, I'm not getting that much use out of the five. Rather, it will replace itself. So, this is one damage, and I'll have four bump blades then. So... If I do this, two, three damage, I gotta replace one bump blade. But, I don't- do I want to replace the bump blade at that point then? Because no. I want to tick this to five and then make this a bat stab. I want this to tick and replace itself. I want this to tick three, four, like four, five, make this a bat stab, and have these two tick up as much as possible and then cash out, right? Cash out with these. I'm not doing the entire math, but I'm not thinking as much on how- how much equipment I'm using. So, this is one piece of equipment. One piece of equipment used. Make this a bump void. Two pieces of equipment used. Three pieces of equipment used. Make this a bump void. Four, five pieces of equipment used. Make this a bat stab. Six, seven, dude, I am mounting. Six, twelve, that becomes 7. 12 plus 7 is 19. Have I done the math right? I feel like I haven't, but I'm so close to figuring out. Okay. Run run the uh, uh, I'm gonna sound like a mad woman on stream here. And on YouTube. I bump void once. That's one piece of equipment used. I'm counting on my fingers. You can't see me use my fingers, but I'm counting on my fingers. That's one piece of equipment used. Replace it here. Two pieces of equipment. This turns into a five. Replace that. This turns into a four into a five. Three, four. Five, six, seven? Just about? Or no. Five, six, seven, and then kill. Okay. Right? I've done this right, right? Just swat these boys in, turn these into bat stabs. Oh, but I've done it slightly wrong because that's a two. Okay. I need to have that bump twice. So instead of having the sits, uh, so instead of having the three go over, Okay, so try this again. Try this again, Cruzy. 
I need the one to bump twice over. I need these to be both threes here, is the main thing. Because then, these both turn into bat stabs, and then that's seven damage. Okay, it took me three tries, but I figured it out. What a brain melter, dude. I got two more fights of this bullcrap. Oh my goodness, dude. This run's only been going 13 minutes. <sighs> I gotta deal 42 damage. I have to deal 42 damage in one turn. Okay, I can triple damage with Summer Solstice. I have to deal six damage to get mana. I can sub. I can. Let's think about this. On six, gain two mana. Why would I have Magnifying Glass if I wasn't supposed to use it at this point then? Right? Right? This suggests I have to use Magnifying Glass in one way. Magnifying Glass double and triples my dice value. If I use one mana on it. But then that locks me out of Summer Solstice, which costs four. Unless I use Snapdragon on the upgraded slot, then, after using Magnifying Glass, to make more. That's on the sit slot, too. If I'm Magnifying Glass and triple dice values, that's made three sitzes. That's the that's the big ticket question mark, though. That's the big ticket question mark. Yes, it does. Okay. If I triple my damage for four mana. This represents four mana already from Snapdragon. Upgraded Snapdragon just generates two mana even. I can tit down twice with Daffodil to get another three. But no, I need to get I need to use those tits down to get two. I need to use those tits to get down to twos for Summer Solstice though, right? Summer Solstice represents 12 damage. If I triple it, that's 36 damage. 36 minus 42. 36. So it means I need to cast a triple damage Summer Solstice plus two Snapdragons is what I have to do on this fight here. Now, how do I get to that? That's the question mark here. It's coming down to these daffodil casts. I have to use magnifying glass one way or another. If I tick down the four to be a magnifying glass, I can make a bunch of sitzes again. I can get two snapdragons, but then how will I get... How will I get to my daffodil at that point then? I have to spend a two to get to a Summer Solstice. If I spend that, this down to a 3, that's a Magnifying Glass. No, I just need an even for an upgraded Snapdragon. So, these two sitzes are going to be spent. That two is probably going to be spent. If I do this, if I triple a dice value with Summer, uh, with Magnifying Glass and get a 6 and a 2 out of my 4. If I choose to do that, because it triples my dice value. I don't know if I would get 4. Because uh, it was just 18 out of a triple, 6 times 3, I got 3 sits fed out of it. If I triple the dice value, that would just tick it up. So I'll get 8. So that's 4 times 3. That's going to be 12. Which is two more sitzes. One, two. Mmm, my brain. My brain wants to explode because that leaves a one, which is not being used here. At least a one, which is not being used. If I tick you down to a two. That's my two for Summer Solstice, but then I have no way to get to Magnifying Glass, which I have to... Uh, which I have to use one way or another. If I do this, that tits you down to a three, I get to use Magnifying Glass. So what do I do? If I copy... Uh, if I triple... 
wait a second, no, I don't have to use the upgraded slot, because that's the only upgraded slot. If I double a four instead of triple it, no, but I'll just spend the mana because I have it. The only thing that the upgrade does is that it makes it that it's not a maximum. It also means I. Hmm. This two has to be used. These two I have to save for my summer solstice proc. The one is not an even, so it can't generate the mana necessary for Magnifying Glass. If I tick you down, I get Magnifying Glass. I can get a 12. Snapdragon gets made. But I don't... I don't get mana out of this. I don't get damn mana out of it, because it's not an even. What good is the one for, then? Have I already bricked a little bit here? If I tick you down, what does a tripled five do? It does nothing, doesn't it? Because I have to spend 12 times 3 is 36, 39, 42. The Snapdragons will take care of it, it has to be 36 damage that's done, otherwise Summer Solstice doesn't kill. If I triple a 5, that's 5, 10, 15, that's a 6 and a 4. If I... Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, I think I've broken it! Because upgraded daffodil is a minimum of 2, I can tick a 3 to a 4 in one universe. So if I tick you down to a 3, if I use one daffodil, to two, 3, you become magnifying glass. Magnifying glass, 5 times 3 is 15, so you'll spit out... You'll spit out 2 sixes and a 3. You spit out two sitzes and a three with a triple. Two sitzes I can use on the Snapdragon, right? Then Daffodil. Daffodil creates a upgraded. Uh, upgrade. I'm sorry, no, one creates an upgraded Daffodil, which can tick down the five to a four to a three. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting your tactical strong somewhere. This becomes a 3, if I use the 5. That becomes a 12. It uses both my daffodils. I only get one daffodil left. It becomes a 12, so that's just going to be two sitzes. I can make a snapdragon out of it. Uh, two snapdragons, one, two, but then I can't reach Summer Solstice no matter what. If I use my 4 instead, though... You become a 3. I can then magnifying glass to make this two sitzes and a three. Here's upgrade daffodil to get down to two, and then is that enough? Put you in. One, two. Oh my! Oh. I don't want to play this character ever again, dude. Pumpkin spice. I have three tries. I have I can fool you, so I have four tries on this. What? Oh, 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 God, no. No, I don't want to lose this run after all the work I've put into it is the problem. I have to 
wait, I have to do 105 damage? You're telling me I have to do 105 damage here, dude? I I want to look up a guide to this so badly. I want to look up a guide to this so badly. But I'm not gonna chicken out yet. I'm not gonna sell my soul yet. I'm going to pull up a calculator app though. Uh calculator. Okay, that's that's going on my side. Oh no. Okay. Logically, we have to think this out. No, of course I have to logically think it out. Dice value minus one, roll one. Dapple twice, double dice value. Return three of the difference between dice. I think the idea here is to have chisel be used on like five and one. I right, right, have chisel. No, have vice grip be used on chisel. If I use two, return three of the difference between dice. I think, okay, here's, here's the idea here. Double twice has to be used to double dice value, one way or another. It has to be done. Double dice value, it's a maximum of three. Let's put sits and three to the side for the moment. And I know I'm gonna have to use vice grip to create the gear. Vice grip will make a bunch of fours. That's how I'm going to get the most of everything. Because then, out of those fours, I can make chisels, which then will go down to vice grips. No, I don't need vice grips. It'll get me a bunch of ones to use harvest scythes on. The one is only good. No, the one is good for making my fours for chisels. Because out of any time I use chisel, it grows a one for harvest scythe to be used later, and it gets me a three. Then I can have double twice used over. I'm doing five times damage. If I do six times five, that's 30 damage. If I do five times five, that's 25. So that's a total of 55 damage. Four times five, 20. So yeah, okay, hold on. So 30 damage plus 25 plus 20 at the moment. 75. So 75 damage. I'm I'm doing this on a calculator app right now. So exactly so. If I I I, I think I basically just have to burn all of my gear one way or another. That's 75. 8 times 5 plus 15. So that'll be plus 15 plus 10 plus 5. That'll be 105. So yes. I have to burn all of my gear with Harvest Scythe. I mean, that seemed kind of obvious once I did it, but I just had to do the math to, do, to make sure. So I think I have to chisel my way down. Because because chisel only is used once every time. And then it's gone. It's a minimum of two. I can't use a one on it, obviously, so... If I use Vice Grip... Everything's upgraded. No, I get two uses of chisel out of it, because it's all upgraded. So I get... The difference, uh, three of the difference between dice. So then, I get the chisel twice, just about. Okay, what? I have four lives. Let's put some fire to stone, and let's just start experimenting here. Shall we? Let's toss a little bit and see what I can get, get out of this stuff here. I think the idea, though, very much so is definitely do something like this though.
because I need okay I need to have a sit to hold on to at all times I use chisel maximum of five for double twice Okay, I'm just kind of putting dice and I'm not it's funny my thought process here. Yeah, no, I've I've ripped hard. I've ripped hard thinking about this. But I, I have my idea in the works here. The idea is definitely here though. Because when it comes to it. That would be my six dice, but then I just need to be able to actually burn them all on my harvest dice, actually. Because I'm not I'm not using anything else otherwise then. Exactly so. Alright, 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 alright. Ideas are here, of course, but didn't get didn't get much progress, but I understand what I still have to do at the end of the day. It's just, you know, getting there. Drink some water. Let's start this again. Let's think about this again. Do I have to use sits immediately? Kinda do double twice. I can't use double twice any other way. Vice grip was the idea, but I don't know if it uh, is, of course, going to be used one way or another here. But I don't think that was the effective way necessarily. Is using my five and one if I do double twice. Uh, if I do vice grip, then then how am I gonna get to fives otherwise? I don't think I have to double twice twice over then, because then I need I I made my five. So I need to make two sitzes. I have to make two sitzes out of this. If I burn my three and four on my double twice like that or so, I can get two sitzes. One to have for, you know, burning at the end. The other one to get to five. And then I need to just chisel my way fours down. I think it's a third of the equation. So let's think about this again. Vice grip, double twice. Spent over. I get three of the difference, which is three fours. I make a four with a chisel. Double twice this three to be a six. So then the three replaces the six completely here. So so then I get a six to be used. Chisels down, you become a six. Chisels down, you become a five. I have two ones then. And then I have a bunch of fours. Four. Can I chisel my way down at that point then? I think I have the idea. I think I have the idea here. You stay as a sits. You chisel down. If I double you... Why would I double a sits at that point then? And no, why would I double a three? I might have messed up again already, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If I double this, this is a sits and a two. Which could be way better. If I chisel you down. You become a five, which is what I need. I have to use a chisel though. Then I have to also use three. They don't I need to make six ones. I have to keep chiseling, chiseling, chiseling. I hate this so much. I I hate this so much, dude. I hate this so much. So much. <sighs> go to the side and y'all can't be used. My stripping here would only just get me a bunch of ones, which is only five ones. It wouldn't even be enough at that point then. I have to use chisel. That way I can keep chipping away at dice, but then there's no way for me to make any more at that point then. I think I misplayed when I spent the three immediately. Spent the three immediately, and that ripped me. 
is the most I can do here is just run my wine again. I've got two more tries on this. I've got two more tries. If I vice grip like this, what else? I can't vice grip with anything else, because uh, 5 and 4, you make 1s. 5 and 3, you make 2s. There's no reason we made, uh, to use 2 dice to make a vice grip again. 5 and 1, you make 4s. That's the only outcome. I can't do like a 6 and a 2, because I'm spending the 2 anyway. I can't do a 6 and a 3, you're making 3s. You'd make a bunch of 5s. make a bunch of fives if I vice grip the sits in one you make a bunch of fives chisel those down to fours so out of three fives out of three fives I'd create one two three one two three fives two of them get chiseled down to fours spend the last uh, the four I just chiseled down to make you to a three have the three become a No, because I don't get to use double twice if I spend my only sits. If I spend my only sits, I can't double twice. Because if I use it all on fives, then there's no way for me to double twice. And then, therefore, I'm locked out of being able to get a sits ever at all. Can't be done. It has to be five and one, then. Right? Five and one on vice grip. Three and one just outputs a two. Four and one outputs a three. 5 and 4 outputs a 1, 5 and 3 outputs a 2. Those are useless. So it has to be still 4s. I think I jumped the gun early though. If I create 2 4s, if I vice grip twice over, that makes me 2 sitses out of the doppel twice. Because doppel twice upgraded can take a maximum of 5. I'm not going to be able to get to a 5. Unless I doppel twice before I vice grip. If I vice grip first... No, if... Ha! Huh. Ah, crazy! If I double twice first, I get to double dice value. That is a 10. I get a 6 and a 4 out of it. I get to do it twice. So then I can spend a 4, chisel that 5 down, and I chisel that 6 to a 5, double twice again to get another 6 and a 4. Oh, wait, 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 huh? Double twice. That's, okay. That's in a row, that's in a row, Cruzy. Double twice. Press five on it. You get a six and a four out of it. Imagine a six and a four right here. This six is out of the way, this five is basically out of the way. I get a six and a four out of that. Then I haven't spent a one, two, or three yet. Out of those, if I spend my four down here, chisel that, that's one one that's useful. And that's a five I have. Double it again. So then I have two fours, a six. Uh, two fours and a six is what I then have. So two fours and a six. Plus these three dice here. If I spend... So I still have eight chisel left. I don't have a five though. I don't have a five with that calculus. I spent the five duping it up. If I spend the three instead, instead of spending a five to get a six and a four, I could spend the three to get to a six. No, why? Why wouldn't I then? Why wouldn't I? Because if I spend the six, and if I spend the five, I get a six and a four. If I spend the three, I just get a six. There's no reason for me not to lose the free economy. Then I get a six and a four. 
Okay, wait, hold on. Do I have one sits or two sitses when it comes to this? Spend the sits and double twice. Choose a five. That becomes a sits and a four. I have one sits, I have two fours. I spend a four. I have one sits, one four. Chisel? Doppel twice. I have a sits, a four, and a five. I still have vice grip. For whatever reason at that point then. Oh my god, dude. What? <sighs> okay. Sits. Doppel twice. You get put into the SWAT here. You are finito. Done. Five. Because doppel twice equals dice value. That's a ten. That's a six and a four. I'm I'm so close to breaking out pen and paper, dude. I I feel insane. Get a six and a four. If I put the four in. Make a chisel. I have a six and a four left over. So I have a six and a four, no five. So what do I do at that rate then? If I spend the sits down, I don't think I want to. Okay, I've been bricking at spending the sits down when I need to preserve the sits for burning it at the end. So don't have a five. If I spend the four, that's eight. I get a sits and a two. What's good a sits and a two? I'm out of doppel twice then. A two could be used for vi for vice trip though. Because then I preserve the two at the bottom here. So then if I spend a four, I get a six and a two. That six goes into chisel. I get a five on the side then. So then I have my I have my top priority chisels then. So then So then I'll be at a net zero. I'll have two extra ones. I'll have a five and a six. Or no, I've come out even, haven't I? Wait. Wait, 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 wait a second. I have jet pad, so I can flee if I want to restart this. Because I think it just broke through, because I have a five, a six. I have the three dice I haven't spent down here. And then I got a four plus two ones. Have I done it? Where did I go wrong? What, what, what did I do wrong? Guys, what did I do wrong? Okay, uh... If we do this... I'm missing a 5 now. Sits in a four. Five has always been my struggle. Wait. Okay, I don't want a jetpack yet. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. Let's think this out. If. Okay, what what do I have? I have the extra two. If I put that into Vice Grip immediately, what can I make out of that extra two? I think... Okay, what? No, no, what? But it's not like I'm gonna be... I have to make something, so let's just put it in there. Okay. 
Sits in four, you made two. Doesn't matter. Sits in three, you made three. That's harvest grip. No, that's harvest side. Doesn't matter. Sits in two, you made chisels. Sits in one, you made harvest side. Don't matter. Harvest side, vice grip, harvest side. Okay. What's the ladder we be thinking? I get fours. Otherwise, if I do this, I can get a six and a four. No, a six and a two. Ooh, it's a Can't chisel you down. I don't have a way to chisel. I want to look at the guide so bad. I want to look at the guide so bad. I want to look at the guide so bad. Okay. I'm, I'm going to use the restroom real quick, honestly. I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to take a break. I'll come back to this. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'll be honest, I may have bought the urge to want to look at the guide, 
you heard me just pull it up. But I feel like I might chicken out. I think I, I think I'm on a line here. I'm going to I'm going to give this a solid try in thought. If I can't figure it out in thought, I think I'm just going to end everything. I have to generate enough from chisels to make six ones and make my entire starting lineup of dice. If use the sits, get two uses. Use on a five, I get a six and a four, so I get my six refunded back. I don't have another. Like, I don't want to chisel down that five because then I get a six and a four again, and then I can just spending dice chiseling. And I think I really ripped on that end. Two SVs and vice grip one way or another. Two SVs and vice grip one way or another on this. So if you want to, understandable. If you don't want to, it's understandable. Thing is, like, I was able to suss out the first five fights, and I feel it's disingenuous for it to be my content if I then check it out on a guide. As much as my brain is breaking in real time, dude, I, 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 I know what has to be done. Like the end point, it's the entire middling. Sits in double twice. Two and a vice grip. Five becomes a sits and a four. If I spend the four on a chisel immediately. And if I spend the four on a chisel immediately. And then chisel the new sits. I have a five. And I've generated a 1, but that's gotten, uh, and that's gotten me back to point zero. but I messed up once already on that, didn't I? Look at it again, Freezy. Put the sits into double twice. You get a sits and a 4. Spend a 4. They create a chisel. Chisel that sits. It becomes a 5. You double twice at five becomes a six and a four. You spent the four, you've spent the six. It's now a six and a four again, you've just generated a one dice. Strip has to be used somewhere in this equation. I feel like I'm. Okay, where's up? Where's some pencil and paper? I have a pencil and sticky notes. I, 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 I'm saying this equation out loud so many times, but I still do not feel like I've got this. Okay, I have in my hands currently. That is still. One, two, three, four, five, six. Spend the six to make a doppel dice. Five times two. So then I have a six and a four. So I have one, two, three, four, four, six. Chisel created. Becomes one, two, three, four, six. A chisel sits. That's one, one, two, three, four, five. I double dice on the five. I have one chisel left. I have a sits, two fours, two ones, a two, and a three. So that's where I've lost my five. That's where I've lost my five before. So I've, I've created a one and I've lost a five. So that's the problem with it before, and I still have eight chisel left on that. Because then, I can't keep doubling fives over. I'm out of it. If I one, two, three, four, five sits, lose the sits, create a double dice, put a five in there, that's one, two, three, four, four sits. And that's the highest value without using chisel. What if I use a four? That's one, two, three. That is four times two is 
eight. So that's a six and a two. So one, two, two, three, four, six, six. I use the two to make a vice grip then. That's the only equipment that I have. I'm writing this down on pe pen and paper, and I'm going to show my proof on stream later. Or I'll show it on Twitter later, people here. One, two, three, four, six, six, and a vice grip. A vice grip, not a vice grip. You gotta be kidding me. That's, I've been saying that wrong this whole time, and we just wrote that. Okay. What do I make out of a vice grip? One in six becomes a five if I spend those. One in six becomes a five. So that could be... Let's draw three paths. Let's, let's put this out here. That becomes one, two, three, four, five, 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 six. Because it's three of the difference, right? If I, ch if I spend my only four to chisel that five... No, wait a second. If I spend my six on that... Cause, no, 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 okay. So, hold on. So, if I spend one and six on vice grip, then... Vice grip. I'm at two, three, four, five, 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 six. Five, 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 six, yes. If I spend my six, then I could make two, three, four... And then spend my six and five to double dice... Uh, double twice... And then put a five in there. Two, three, four, four, five, five, six. I'm generating another four. Which then I can put two fives into it. Two, two, no, two, three, four, 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 five, six, six. Use a four to make a chisel. Chisel a five and a six. So one, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six. So that's my chisel used as well then, right? I spent the six and I spent the five. That's already two of my double dice is used. Two double dice. And if I use my chisel as well, right? Two uses. Vice strip's only one use. If I chisel down a four, that's nothing because it's just hard to sight. If I chisel down a three. That's a one, 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 two, two, four, 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 five, six. I could make a vice grip out of that, but then what am I using vice grip on? A six and a one to make a bunch of fives? That was only afforded because I had the six to begin with. But if I use, okay, make a two out of vice grip, use six for double dice. Have five double that. So that's one, 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 two, four, four. Oh god. Four sits if I use the doppel twice on the five. Spend the four to make a chisel. I have a vice grip. I have two chisels and one doppel dice. <coughs> chisel the sits. Make a six and a four again. One, 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 two, four, 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 six. No, I have two sixes out of that, right? Because I haven't used the first six out of my vice grip. Okay, wait. One, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six. Before I start doing anything, use a two, make a vice grip out of it. Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm losing my own sauce and my own notes. No, 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 crazy, no, crazy. Okay, what? You made a six that is two doppel twices. You spent a five on it? I double twice to make the six and a four. That's three fours that you had. Spent a four to make a chisel, 
which you then use two chisels, which you then use a sit on to make a five, which you then double twice on. Huh? I'm pulling a Google sheet. Wait. Okay. Google Sheets. Uh. Searcher is proxy. Google Sheets. Make a new sheet. Enable my top overlay. Uh. Get Google Sheets up. window capture. I think it'll be a lot more effective if I show my work this way. Okay, first and foremost, mute dicey. Let's put some lo-fi on. Let's stink this out. Because I was going to show my paperwork, but instead this might be better for a stream. Three, four, five, six. Uh, vice grip, chisel, double twice. Goal sits once and starting set. That's my starting block of numbers. I have one of each of those. Uh, turn order. What I do. I'm legitimately making a table because I need to explain my thought process on this dude so badly need to explain this out. And, and both to convince my own head. See what I can do here. Burn a sits to make double twices. Equipment. Uh, wait, hold on. Don't do that. Uh, let's say... Yeah, no. Let's say... Equip... Equipment. So let's say that. Be done with it. That is... Double twice two. So then it's once across the board without a sits. I'm doing this, dude. But I'm going to figure this out, because which has been the bane of my existence. Burn a sits. Use a five. That's double twice one. So, then I have... So, if I use five, that's two fours and one sits. Refer back to the sticky note, Cruzy. What did you then do? So then I have... If I use a four...
use a four. Double twice zero. That is eight. So one, two, two, right? Four times two is eight. That's a six and a two guaranteed then. So then that's when I use the two. Use a two for vice grip. One, 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 two. Use vice grip sits and one. So let's say make this orange sits one equals fives, right? Sits and one equals fives. Ah. If I do that, that's three of the difference, right, Cruzy? Three of the difference, okay. So I am then sitting at zero, one, 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 four, fives, and zero sitses. Because I just used my only sits, right? No, use a two for vice grip. That is when my sits in one go down. Say one, I need to say one goes down to zero. And two goes down to one. I, I need to watch how these are changing for my own sake here. For my own sake and for my own consistency on everything here, guys. Use a five, that turns it into a zero. That way it then becomes one, uh, so that one would become one to two and zero to one. I'm glad I'm doing this for myself here because I would have immediately missed that since I spent my five, it would be zeros across the board then. And then you would go from zero to three. Right? Right. Okay. Keep going on, Trizzy. Keep going on. Keep going on. Uh, you become a two then. One to two. Everything else stays consistent. Then Dimitri hits down two to one for Vice Grip to be used. Vice Grip sits in one equals a five. So then I am sitting at yeah zero one 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 three zero off of that. No 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 I'm sitting at zero one 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 three one. Um, consult the sticky note again, Cruzy. Then what you did back then was zero one 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 three. You burn the sits for a doppel or for two doppel twices. You burned a five. To make a ten. That'd be a six and a four. So I'd be at I'd be at this and I'd have a double twice. I'd have one double twice left over. If I'm working at my sticky note, right? I'd have one, I'd have one double twice and I'd have
Morgan and things here first and foremost. Give me a second. So Morgan, my piece of paper and trying to figure out what I potentially got wrong out of the things here. Because my own sticky note is not lining up with my findings. Before the vice grip, I had one, two, three, four, six, six. Before vice grip. One, two, three, four, six, six. Right here. On my sticky note. Okay. Then, as soon as I quit vice grip, one and six spent. That's three fives. Two, three, four, five, five, six. So then that was two, three, e, yeah. Two, three, four, five, 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 six. Then I burn the six, make the double twice. Yeah, burn the sits to make the doppel twice out of it. Once I burn the sits, I have two doppel twice uses. I use a five, one of my fives right there, to make one sits. And then, out of there, I made a chisel out of a four? But it says I have three fours. How the fuck did I get three fours on my own sticky note? Two, three, four, four, five, six. Two, three, four, four, five, six. Two, three, four, four, five, six. Okay, you burn the sits, Cruzy. You have two doppel twices. You burned a five to make a s your to get your sits back. But now you have two fives and two fours. If I use a five again, like so, potentially. Okay, what? Unsure. Unsure after this. That red is grading. If I use the last of my doppel twice. Double twice is zero. Then I am sitting at zero, one, one, three, one, two. Haven't I just made a bunch of three? I've made a bunch of fours and a bunch of twos then, right? I've come out on top with an extra six and an extra four. And the only thing I'm missing is a one out of this. Okay, there's a guy that I pulled up before, but I'm not gonna chicken out yet. There's my calculator from before. Use a four. Chisel two. So a sits. Let's just start idea brewing here, people. Let's just start idea brewing. A chisel a sits. A 
Brings me a chisel one. Hmm. So now I'm at one, 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 two, two, one. And I have a chisel one left over. I've just made a one, and I've made a four and a five at this rate then, right? Go over my calculus. Go over my calculus. Use the sits to make two double twice. Use a five on that double twice. I get a sits and a four, because five times two is ten. Sits and a four out of that. Use a four on that double twice. To then get up to one and two. I have to get two sitses out of that. Because four times two is eight. Sits and two. We'll use a two for a vice grip. Still out of fives at this point here. Use a sits and a one for make my vice grip. That spends my one. So I'm at zero. One, one, one across the board. But upgraded vice grip uh, gives three dice back. So I'm at three fives. Use my sits for two double twice. Use a five to get a sits and a four. Use a five again. That way I'm at three fours. I didn't log that using the four for double twice would take me back down to one immediately after though, but that's still consistent. I'd still have the four. I'd still have one four. Five is ten, so sits four. Five again, sits four. I'm sitting at three, two. So you use a four, make a chisel, and I chisel a sits. Did I successfully make a five and a four? Okay, wait. If I just repeat this as I come out on top, I could literally just make infinite fives and fours, and then it solves itself. Because after that, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm in creating infinite ones out of that too, right? Because then I'm always taking up on one, I'm always taking up on four and five. It doesn't matter at that point, because I still have my starting dice, I never use the three. I'm always coming out with the sits at the end. And then I can just have pumpkin spice on all my slots. Have I done it? Wait. Have I done it? Oh, if only I had one more life in game. At that one, my last life is not me with joy. Okay. Go over this one more time. Go over this one more time. Go over this one more time. You use your starting sits to make double dice. Has to be done. Use a five. I'm going to open some chocolate as I do this real quick. Use a five. Five times two. Ten. Gets in a four. Two fours and six. Use a four on the double twice. You get yourself four times two is eight. It's and two. That's the two allows you to make a vice trip. You use the two for the vice trip. Use the extra sits and your one to make three fives. Picturing this in my head once again. When I burn my sits at first, I have zero sitses. Use the five. That makes one sits. I use the four. That makes two sitses, and I haven't used them yet. Yeah, one of my two sitses for vice drip. Use my remaining sits for doppel twice. If I use my sits for doppel twice, I'm at zero sitses. Use a five. That's five times two is ten. 
sits in a four. So I'm at one sits. Use a five again. So I'm back down to one five. That is sits in a four. So I have two two sitses out of that. And I'm at three fours. If I use a chisel, if I use a four to convert it to a chisel and then chisel a sits, I get the one bat, I get a four, I get a five. Is that it? Is that how I made my infinite ones? Okay, uh, the capture. Oh, that's- I'm putting the game capture. Uh, how do I shrink the capture? Uh, okay, this is gonna work exactly. Steps in order, Cruzy. Trying to set this up eloquently, that way everybody can see the thought process, but I think I have it. I think I have it. Put all the dice in a row. Dude, this has been one of the most stressful times I've ever been on stream. Step one, we're gonna sit. Step two, a five. If I use a five, that makes me have a six and a four. Four. My double twice is gone. I have two sixes and a two. Use a two and vice grip. Use a six. That's me cooking a four. Six and a one. I get three fives. So I'm at zero, one, 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 three, five. We're gonna sit on double twice. Use both my fives. And double twice. Two, one, three, two fours, two fives, and a six. Repeat ad nauseum. Create a six. Use a five. It's a four. Uh, 
have the extra five, so out of my extra dice, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all I've started with. So my extra dice are all up here. I have two fours and two fives that I have exactly so created. If I just do something like this, these are all my extra dice. Oh! process calmly without burning my stuff. A five and a four. Got the extra two. Double two fives. And your six. Double twice. Double twice. Twice. That'll get a chisel out of the four. Chisel the six. Back to where you started, Crazy. You're back to where you started. Back to where you started. With. I want to keep these dice here at all times for my insurance that I can keep repeating the process ad nauseum. Out of that, I have a bunch of fours. Let's chisel that for free. That's two ones that I have. If. That I have. I just chisel this. That's enough. Four. That's three ones. Four ones. Five ones. That's six ones. Count this out. That's what we're on. One. six ones to make six harvest dice out of. I have six dice. All different dice. It with pumpkin spice is at 105 health. So, created slots. Five times damage, times whatever dice. That's just one times five. Drag this down. Or three times five. Three times. Three times five. Two, three times. Uh, two times five. Three times five. Four times five. Five times five. Six times five. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Equal sum? Equal sum of these cells. Ah, uh, thirty. That's one oh five. Formula is correct. That's just the sum of those cells. One oh five. You have one oh five health. So you start from the top, work your way down. This run's taken an hour and a half to me. It took an hour and a half to do. That's the Halloween episode done on Witch. Oh my god. 
We have Reunion as our last DLC for next time here, everybody. To where we have six more episodes of Dicey. I've only played Robot and that was like a long time ago back. Which is another five-star difficulty. Oh, but we did it. Oh my... I didn't pull up a guide. I, well, I pulled up a guide, but then I chickened out of reading and I said, no, I committed to it. It's not going to be my content if I just steal somebody else's. I did it. I'm ending stream on that note. Oh my god, dude, that run lasted me forever! Wherever you are, wherever you may be, whether you're on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, or more, it's been your wonderful wind maid, your cruise ship servant, Parker's Potsy, ever and always at your service. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. It has been an atrocious, dicey dungeon stream. I can't believe I got through that at the very end. But, what more can we say? Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I am so happy about that. Thank you, Crimson. Help me out. Please, <laughs> that's how I stream this. Hopefully those reunion challenges will be easier, but at least for now, everybody, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, or night, have yourself a wonderful night, at least from my side of the world. I'll see if I'm streaming tomorrow, but probably not, because it's Wednesday. So have a good night, y'all.